Hi, in this tutorial we'll take a look at the WP Express Checkout subscription add-on which is to be used alongside the WP Express Checkout plugin when you wish to collect reoccurring payments from your customers. First things first, you'll need to have the WP Express Checkout plugin by Tips and Tricks HQ installed and activated on your WordPress website and you'll need to have the WP Express Checkout subscriptions add-on installed and activated on your WordPress website. Once you have those two pieces of software, you'll see the WP Express Checkout menu and then subscriptions under that. Clicking on that will show you all your subscriptions that you currently have on your website. Yours will probably currently be blank as you haven't had any people sign up yet. So next, we'll take a look at the settings menu. So if you click on settings under WP Express Checkout, that'll take you to the general settings tab but in this tutorial, we'll just be focusing on that subscriptions tab. So click on that subscriptions tab and basically all we'll need to do is just create our webhooks by clicking the create webhook button for the live webhook and for the test webhook. So once you've done that, you'll just need to click that save changes button. So that's basically all the settings just for the subscriptions add-on. If you haven't completed the general settings, for the WP Express Checkout plugin, just make sure you do that. Let's go ahead now and create our first subscription product by clicking on Add New Product. So once you click on that Add New Product button and you're taken to the Add New Product page, you'll need to give your subscription a title and then you'll need to add in a short description that describes to your customers what it is that you're trying to sell. I'll add those in now. Now that I've added in a title, I'll just be selling a book club subscription I've added in a short description about what the book club is. I'll scroll down to the pricing section. So this is the most important bit of creating a subscription product. So to see the options to create the subscription product, you'll need to click that subscription button. Then you'll see all the options and the fields that you'll need to add in to create the subscription product. So you can add a trial period if you wish for your subscription. So you'll just need to add a trial billing amount in this field and your trial billing period in this field and select the period if you wish to add in that trial period. For this subscription, my book club, I will not be adding in a trial period. So I'll skip that and I'll go down to reoccurring billing. So I need to add my reoccurring billing amount, which is how much the customer will be charged each time. So it's $9.95 for my book club. They'll be charged once. So I'll add in the numeral one per week and then they'll be charged 52 times or in my case 52 weeks. So do not add any currency symbols in any of these fields, especially this one. You can set your currency from the general settings menu. So that's about all we need to add in there. I'll choose reattempt on failure so that if the customer's credit card does decline, it'll try it two more times before that subscription is cancelled. So I've added in that. In the additional section, you can add a plan description for product display. So you can change the default description if you wish to. So if you want to change it, just add in the description that you wish to add in this field here. So you can see some options there that I've created in the past. But I'll just leave it as a default description for now. We'll see what that looks like. And then if you wish to change it, you can always come back and edit that at a later point if you're not happy with it. If you want to add some more details, you can do that. So we'll scroll on down. I'll leave my quantity as one. They're just joining for one book club. Scroll down. They don't need to pay any shipping. I'll add that into the total cost. No tax. It is a physical product because I want to ship them books. So I'll click this is a physical product so their address is collected. No download URL, but you might have a digital product that you're selling, so you'll need to add in that download URL by selecting File. I'll add my product thumbnail, my book, just to give the customer an idea of what I am trying to sell. And then in the appearance related section, I'll change the button text. So the pop-up trigger button text by default says buy now. I'm going to change it just to subscribe now as that better fits with the product that I'm selling as it's a subscription product, it's not a buy now product. So I've changed that to subscribe now. I'm happy with all the other details I've added in. I'll click the publish button. So I've published out that product. I'll just click that permalink so we can quickly view that. There's my book club. 
it's got the title, it's got the description, it's got that default description that we were talking about, product, so it describes to the customers what they'll be joining, $9.95 each week for 52 instalments, or in this case, 52 weeks. So that's all written there for them. And then they can choose to subscribe now with my subscribe now button. By default, as I mentioned, that will say buy now. So you just change that wherever that subscribe now. And that's about all there is to do to, to create the subscription style product using the WP Express Checkout plugin and the subscription add-on. So let's go back now. We've got our product, we've got our product short code and we'll add that to a page. I'll show you how simple that is. Click pages, add new, give your page a title. If I'm going to be selling multiple book clubs from this page, I'll just add book clubs, short code block, paste in your short code. I'll add that template parameter, template equals one. That'll make it a bit fancier. We'll publish it out. We'll view the page and there we go. I've got my book clubs page with my subscription style product there where any customer can land here and they can click that subscribe now button to start the transaction process for my subscription product. So let's take a look at what that would look like for your customers that land on your page and then want to subscribe to a product that you have listed. They're happy that it's a book club. They're happy with the description. They're happy with $9.95 each week for 52 installments. And then they decide to click on that payment button, subscribe now. So then they see that pop-up window where they can pay with PayPal or their debit or credit card. They click to pay with PayPal as they've got a PayPal account. So that's an easy way for it to link to their credit card. So then they log into their PayPal account, they add their email and their password. So once they've added them, they click log in. I'm just using my Sandbox PayPal account for the testing purposes of this tutorial. So they've logged in, they'll need to choose how they'd like to pay. I'll just click that credit union one. So they can also see there what they will be charged per transaction that is deducted, so $9.95 each week in this case. So they can change their address there. They'll need to make sure that's correct. If not, they can change it. And then they can agree and subscribe to your subscription product. So the subscription has been successful. I've been directed to the thank you page and I can see my first subscription payment has been deducted. So now as an admin, if we go back to our WordPress dashboard, let's take a look at what that subscription looks like in the back end of our site. If we go to WP Express Checkout and we click on that subscriptions menu, we can then see our subscriptions. So I've got a couple of active subscriptions. I've got a canceled subscription. I've got someone who's in the trial period of their subscription. There's some more active ones at the top. It's this latest one that we just checked out with. So let's view the details of that subscription. So I can view the details. The modes obviously just test for this example, but the status is active. I can see my customer's email address. I can see when the start date of their subscription, I can see their next payment that's due and I can see the final payment that they'll have to pay on is June 14th, 2022. So I can see the, re the payment type, which is regular recurring payment. Each cycle they'll pay $9.95 and this customer has paid one of 52 payments. We can see the total amount that we've received and it's also from this page, if we need to, we can cancel the subscription. So I'll quickly run through the cancellation. We'll just click cancel subscription. Completing a cancellation of a subscription cannot be undone. So just know that before you cancel someone's subscription. So if I click OK, it's been cancelled. And then if I re-click on that subscriptions menu, I can then see that subscription has been cancelled. If you have any further questions or queries about the WP Express Checkout subscriptions add-on, don't hesitate to contact us.